Wow, it's been a long time since I've been up this early for a vlog. So where are we heading to today? You'd have seen from the thumbnail and the title that we are going to the Dublin du Good morning. This is a passenger announcement for everybody flying from Glasgow today. We have some fantastic duty-free items as well as some amazing items in the Celtic club shop within the airport. Do remember that your friends and family aren't as lucky to be where you are today to be in the Celtic Club shop so if they want to get their hands on officially licensed gear then head on over to Footy Adventures new video and go down to the top link in the description box. Foco have a range of fantastic officially licensed products from your favourite clubs all around the world. They stock teams in Scotland, in Ireland, in England and others all around Europe. So if you're looking for some quality football <laughs> items for your friends, your family or even yourself this summer, then head on down to FOCO and check out their amazing range today. Have a safe onward journey everybody and hope to see you here again soon. As I was going to say before that announcement, yeah we are off to the Dublin Derby today. I've never seen a get football match in Ireland before but it's one of my most requested countries to go to. So I feel like I've thrown myself in at the deep end. We're not going to like a championship game first then a Premier League one. We are firstly going to the Dublin Derby. <laughs> Thank you. Hi there. Hi, can I help you? Thank you, mate. Cheers. Here we are in the capital of Ireland, the biggest city in the world. Why is it the biggest city in the world? Because every year it keeps on Dublin. Sorry about that. We are in Dublin and why am I here at this time of the year? Well, Ireland have a summer season and I have lo had loads of requests from people in Dublin and of course in Belfast as well. Um, across the whole island of Ireland from all different corners of it are people asking me to come and cover their teams and today is obviously the turn of Shamrock Rovers and Bohemians. I've got a video planned tomorrow before I head home as well and then I will be going to Belfast and other areas of Ireland over the next week or so. But I've not had anything to eat today, it's almost 11 o'clock so operation find some food and something to wash it down with. I am in Ireland so that can only mean one thing. We are in the absolute heart of Dublin right now. Look at the Temple Bar. This is where it all goes off at night. I've been here before um, when I was a little bit younger. Not for the vlogs, of course, and it wasn't for football, but just came here for a few nights out. But this is the place that you want to be 
Temple Bar. I've come down here to show you and you should come down here if you've never been to Dublin before and you're on a night out or something. Um, but I always find that really like city centre touristy spots like this are usually a little bit overpriced, a little bit um, too expensive for a bit of food, um, which is all I'm after right now. And obviously one of these. But yeah, just gonna take a five, 10 minute walk out of the main sort of centre bit. It's been a few hours since you last saw me. I had my breakfast, which I'll overlay on screen right now. I couldn't show you when I was in there because there was a bit of music playing in the background, which would have got this video copyright claimed. I've done the editing for the stuff that I've already filmed pre this point here, just so I've got less to do later on when I get back from the game. I also had a little snooze for a while up at 5 a.m. I was absolutely exhausted. You may still be able to see I am a little bit tired, but just waiting on a ride sharing app now. It's, there's no Ubers, I don't think, in Dublin. If there is, there's very, very few. So I think it's free now that I've got to use. But yeah, we are just waiting for Mohammed now to come and pick me up. And uh, he's going to take me down to the home of Shamrock Rovers for my first ever League of Ireland Premier League match. Have you been to Shamrock Rovers before? Not today, my friend. Not, not, not today. What's there today? Yeah. Um, a football game. Oh, football game. All right. Welcome to the most successful team in the Republic of Ireland. So you're saying this is the biggest club in Ireland? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. The most successful club I've seen online as well. Uh, but yeah, most successful club. As well. The wind, the windiest club as well. It seems like today. <laughs> well, it's just a bit of fortune with the weather, but look, yeah. it doesn't matter. This is a club we're at home for 20 odd years. Look at us now, we're back where we belong. Yeah. And most of the other clubs in the league don't like us, but that's fine. That's a, that's a, every every country needs a club like ours. And what should I expect from atmosphere today? Uh, and bouncing, yeah. bouncing tonight. Yeah, bouncing. Would it be great? What do you think of Bohemians? Ah, look, look, they're, they're, they're their rivals on the north side. Look at those great people following them like here, but it's, it's not a bad club. We're a big club. We're going places. We're in Europe again. We're all heading to Malta in a few weeks. Yep. Hope to push on again. So that's it. Shamrock Rovers FC. Lovely, mate. All the best to you. Thanks. Good luck. Bye bye. Thank you, mate. The wind in this part of Dublin is just absolutely unbelievable. I hope um, that interview with Michael just came out all right. Josh. And you, lovely to meet you, boys. Thank you so much for stopping and saying hello. It's my first ever Irish football game today. How, what should I expect? Well, it's Dublin Derby, first and foremost, so I think you want to see a lot of flowers. Yep. Inc incredible atmosphere, and you know, I think Sean Rovers will, will win the game. You think, yeah. I think, you know, top of the league, stuttered last week against Dundalk, but I think they'll win today. I think, you know, you're going to see an incredible atmosphere, and I think you're going to see some very, very good football. Perfect, and um, obviously, it's intriguing to me that this is a summer season as well that they have in the Republic of Ireland. It means that we can come and watch football when there's not much on elsewhere. Is that because there's so many other sports in Ireland that are played during the winter? Yeah, I like think, you know, you've got GAA, you've got Hurling, but I think, you know, if you look at football, I think a lot of Irish fans are going to watch in Liverpool, your Manchester United and stuff like uh -huh, that. Yeah. So I think, you know, with that season being over, the summer season gives Irish fans a lot of, you know, I'll come and watch their local club. Team. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I understand, yeah. It's, it's actually, it's a big debate at the minute up in Northern Ireland whether we should do the same because obviously if you're midway through your season, it's going to give you a yeah, better chance to play in Europe. Ah, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's something. So that's all up in the air in Northern Ireland as well yeah, to yeah. change to a summer season. So this is actually my first League of Ireland game. Oh, okay, right, yeah, nice. Uh, I'd watch the Northern Ireland League. Yep. And so score prediction, what are you thinking for today? Um, no idea to be honest. Uh, I'll tell you two each. Just a bit of excitement maybe and you think. I'm gonna say two one for Rupert. Two one, perfect lads, enjoy.
great amount of pyro from both sides, but the Bohemians fans have thrown them on the pitch. Fantastic atmosphere in here. It's red, the red of Bohemians against the green of Shamrock Rovers. Phenomenal atmosphere in here so far, and look at this, Shamrock Rovers, the most successful team in Ireland with a record 19 titles, 25 cups, and I believe they were the first Irish team to compete in European competition as well, so Republic of Ireland's most successful club here, with a fantastic fan base. Dangerous free kick for Shamrock Rovers, let's film the fans. Irish and Scottish football fans, where would Shamrock Rovers fit within like the SPFL dragon and in England? Would they be championship quality in England, premiership quality in Scotland? I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I'm stood kind of up on this section here. But you can see the, the amount of people that are here today. 8,000 seat of stadium, probably just about full, I'd say. A few empty seats here and there. Um, but I'm up getting the best sort of shot of the fans. It's really weird in that there's these like huge concrete sections and there's seats behind me that just wouldn't be able to see past them. It's really weird, like they definitely can't see that goal. It's a strangely designed stadium, but as you can hear, great atmosphere in here. half time here the fans have been fantastic and the pitch looks amazing fantastic weather as well half time see you in the second half oh shamrock have missed a great chance already seconds into the second half should be one now what a miss great save from the keeper though An incredibly boring first half, then a guilt edge chance which got Shamrock over the corner and then they just scored from it one minute into the second half and it is 1-0 to Shamrock Rovers here. Can they go on and score a few more? The limbs in that home end look unbelievable, didn't they? Shamrock Rovers are incredible at set pieces, or Bohemians can't defend a corner to save their lives. Oh, they've got to it again. A bit of handbags, a bit of argy bargy. Oh, it's still going on. This whole time, I thought that floodlight was on, but if you look at the other one, that's definitely not on. I think it's just the sun's reflection on some of the lamps in the lights. Look at that.
So if this result stays the same and the Dundalk result stays the same, then it Shamrock Rovers will be seven points clear, but Dundalk will, uh, Dundalk will have a game in hand. Derry are a little bit closer as well, but Shamrock getting out in front now. Look, they're drawing. They're currently winning against UCD, but with Shamrock winning, they're firmly at the top of the league. 7,445 atmosphere, um, uh, attendance today. 8,000 stadium, 7,400 here, so basically a sellout. Except from them, like empties at the front, and those ones over there, which they've had to sort of block off. Really good attendance today. And a great atmosphere. What a first derby. What a first game this is in Ireland for me. with a long throw, it looks like, right at there. We've gone over the three minutes now, I believe. The ref's blown his whistle. Lovely to meet you, mate. You're from Poland, but you live in Ireland. How are you, mate? And so, what did you think of the game, firstly? Look at the fans over there, wow. Absolutely, absolutely great, yeah. I live in Dublin, so I try to support them. Yeah, and you say you have an Instagram page, you go around uh, yeah. ground hopping and stuff yeah. like that. What's the page called for anyone watching? That's this page. Stadium Tourist. Stadium Tourist. And what would you say is your best stadium you've ever been to? The best one is in Gdansk, that's my home ground. Where's, oh, in Poland? In Poland. Yeah, that's in your Gdansk, team. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. Since COVID opened up and we could sort of go about more freely, I've really wanted to cover a lot of derbies and I've done a lot in Scotland um, that I've never seen before. This is all like last season and sort of this calendar year. Um, Hibs v Hearts, Celtic v Rangers, obviously, the Dundee derby, as well as a few others. Been to quite a lot of non-league derbies as well in England. Um, Gateshead and uh, Blythe Spartans was one. Marine v Prescott Cables, Merseyside was one. Barnet, Boreham Wood, obviously been to um, Sporting v Porto, that's a bit of a derby in Portugal. I've been to the Madrid derby, that was a few months ago. And now I can say I've been to the Dublin derby. Really, really good atmosphere. I'm so impressed with the Irish fans. And it's always funny hearing like the songs, um, like that different sort of countries will sing. They're very similar to Scotland in some of their songs, aren't they? There was a, oh yes, sir, I can boogie. And just like some of the um, different tunes I've heard, I think they were singing with the green flag flying high and I've heard St Johnston in Scotland sing with the blue flags flying high. So it's always funny to hear the sort of similarities between the sort of nations and stuff. I'm absolutely knackered. As you saw from the start of this vlog, got up at 5 a.m. <coughs> I even sound tired. Um, had a little nap in the afternoon, but I still do need to get back and edit the rest of this video. All the stuff up to sort of the game is done. Um, but I just need to finish it off and get it up for the next day and then I'm filming another video tomorrow heading home and then coming back to Northern Ireland um, where I'll be going sort of in between the both that sort of mid next week I'm getting a ferry across to Northern Ireland and then I'm going to do some videos in the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland as well um, so yeah really really looking forward to it so please do subscribe if you're new to the channel and you've not seen the videos before my name's Sam I run this channel Footy Adventures I absolutely love football I go about and go to so many different countries to cover the beautiful game so it'd be great to see you around here a little bit more often please do hit that like button as well 
I will leave some videos on screen. Please click on one to carry on watching. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.